everybody, this is Rebecca Tatila with the Roma Hut Institute. And today we're going to be talking about essentials. For, but first, I want to show you some things that I've never shared with anyone before. I'm going to show you my essential oil stash. So stay tuned. Come on, guys, I want to show you something. I know this is very embarrassing because I do have a lot of essential oils and it's really not necessary to have that many, but it started with a business that we were doing on the road and we were actually selling essential oil kits, Bible kits and things like that. So we ended up with a, a lot of essential oils and accumulating a lot, but I want to first show you my first kit, which actually I got it a couple of years ago. Okay, so I bought this case on Amazon and it has this little tag here and I guess that's supposed to tell me that this side is the bottom. Otherwise, it looks identical and you cannot tell what is up, which is horrible because when you open it, you end up with the oils being upside down. Let's see if I did. Nope, I got it right. All right, yay. All right, so anyway, this is... I don't know what that is. This is the kit that I have, which I have a lot of um, doTERRA oils in here mixed in with some oils that I got in Egypt. And then I picked up, let's see if I can find them. I picked up some oils in China at a Aroma Expo. So I do have a good mix. I mean, I have other brands in here but of course, I mean, this, this kit probably holds about, I think it holds about 78. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oops. I'm going to have to do the math here. So actually it probably holds a lot more. Um, but let me show you what else I have. <laughs> let me take you <clears throat> to another room. I have another stash of oils now this is for the household and this is where we keep a lot of them so let me flip this okay so in here it's got other things in here so don't feel too bad about it but this is all of my health supplements up here and all of my oils which i used to use this um, I, I purchased this on Etsy. So a man made it and it's actually two of them. So it's two Layers deep here. I had it hanging in the shop when I was in Pinellas Park and I had a storefront So we had the products displayed But as you can see I have all the carrier oils over here all different kinds So if anyone grabs an oil they have to use a carrier with it. We have the you know like the coconut oil back here we've got sweet oil uh just the regular fractionated coconut oil jojoba all these different ones here this is the section for the yucky stuff that we don't ever take but it's still here i mean it's one of those things like you bought it literally we bought this years ago nobody ever touches it i mean if anything we're just going to grab peppermint over here use it for our stomach and modium that's only like in case of emergency but the rest of it is just a lot of different supplements and things a lot of doTERRA products because i did join a couple of years ago i'm no longer active with them um i do have an account but I, I do not sell the oils so that's one of the reasons why i got rid of it okay so i know that should be enough right but it's not <laughs> actually hold on let me show you i'll go down here Okay, so like I told you, I had some wools that were doTERRA things. And I started out, like a lot of people, really gung-ho and wanting to sell, thought I could sell. But I'm really an educator and I spend all my time in teaching. So I really don't get out there and promote and, pre you know, want to sell a product. But I ended up with a lot of stuff. Let me show you. As you can see, I ended up with a lot of product. And I'm going through it slowly. I give a lot to the kids and the children. They go to college. 
so everybody has their own kit where they've got deep oil they've got some throat lozenger some on guard and breathe that's a great product i really like it i get to share it with a lot of people we do have the on guards here and the cobaye and serenity my husband has become a fan of he likes to take that every night before bed some of the skincare products which i personally i just don't work for me um i'll tell you what i really love that's different and unique about their product is the beadlets these are fantastic because you can carry them with you it's almost like the size of a chapstick you can put it in your pocket and it's just a quarter drop in each beadlet so it's like 125 drops in here trying to get them to move um i showed these to some college kids um this weekend and they were like wow these are fantastic what a great idea because honestly guys aren't going to be bringing out the oils and blending them and doing all that nonsense they like the beadlets now this one is the on guard beadlets and we do use these everyone has their own personal stash so i do have a lot of that okay and down there i do have some kits um, again, I don't take a lot of this stuff. So I personally, you know, just use as needed. I'm not one of those people that takes supplements or uses oils every single day. I use as needed. And I have not had to use oils for health reasons for the most part, except for as needed, which is really great. But I gotta be honest with you, that's not all. I've got more. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay, so I have a closet full of more oils. Look at this. Oh my gosh, yes, more kits. Now, I bought a bunch of these um, kits because these are great to give to people as gifts. And then we also have, as you can see, hundreds of bottles of oils already made up these were things in our shop and so like i make blends for what i call flu buster and this one is similar to the thieves oil or to on guard it's a you know 15 mil size it's fantastic to use for diffusing for flu you know cold flus things like that but you can see i have a zillion oils in here this is my husband's personal stash now yes i don't like him getting into my stuff so he has to have his own bag i don't want him into my stuff so he has his own stash of walls in here <laughs> he got this bag at um aroma tools and it's heavy but you know he, he's got everything in here with a little first aid kit book in there so he's got it all we even have first aid kits. We put some oils in here and have them ready to go. Um, but that's just some of the oils. Hold on. Okay, so <laughs> I have another stash in my room. I'm going to show you. I was looking over at the kitchen because I was thinking, did I put some in the kitchen? Sometimes I cook with them. I have that book on healthy cooking with essential so. <laughs> Yeah, I use essentials in the kitchen too. So this is my bedroom and I have a small bathroom so I don't have place to put them so I keep them by the bed. I'm going to show you those. Okay, so I think I got this at um, doTERRA, I think. So it's it's like a cute little train set that your train case and it has the bottom where you can put like 50 mil sizes in here so you can carry a lot um what is that like 18 bottles in there and then they have the top for roll-ons so i do have quite a few in here but what i felt like with this particular case it was a little bulky for I don't know. I, I just felt like it was bulky for traveling. I didn't want to carry one more thing with me. I like having something in the suitcase. So that's why I tend to go with more of these smaller cases for travel. 
This is a hard shell. This one's a soft. And the soft is nice because, you know, it can be squished in your suitcase but still keep everything safe. So these oils are the Young Living essential oils in here. And they've got some great blends in there too. So they also have this other kit that I really like. This is a hard shell. And I know you would think, Becca, really? Do you need this many oils? No, no, you do not. You do not need to be an essential oil hoarder like me. Um, but look, this has a place for the roll-ons. And then you can carry some more here. I tell you what, when I made this kit, I took this one to China and Asia with me. I say Asia because I also went to Thailand, Vietnam, Singapore, Bali. Um, so anyway, I wanted to make sure I had everything I needed. So I had something for skin, had something for throat, you know, and my neroli, my peppermint for my stomach. Um, lavender so you know you just have your whole thing with you and you're ready to go <sighs> I know I should be ashamed of myself for being an essential oil hoarder because I still have more yes do I have to hide them from my husband no no he's a hoarder too <laughs> actually our house is empty but we we buy oils <laughs> Um, you know, a lot of people who sell essentials end up with a lot because you order every month because you want to stay on their royal uh, loyalty reward program or, you know, you're trying to make that little bit of percentage and things like that. And you end up with hundreds and hundreds of bottles and you really don't need that. You can simply use about, I would say, you know, six to eight oils, maybe 10 at the most of your favorite blends and have some singles and you're good okay so let's talk about the essentials that you should have you really don't need hundreds of essentials a lot of them will do the same thing have a lot of the similar properties and you'll find in the book therapeutic blending with essential all the recipes all the different combinations and there's a lot of oils that you can substitute so that you don't have to have every single oil that comes out right but the one that I find the most beneficial is lavender that's my number one oil it's great for everything it's very calming very relaxing it's a great oil now some people may not like the fragrance of a flower or you know that floral scent and in that case you might want to use a citrus oil instead such as orange or lemon essential oil. Now lemon is a great oil. And you know what? I like to throw that into the laundry sometimes. It'll brighten the colors up. Or it's great for getting those crowns uh, marks or those you know scuff marks on your floor. Lemongrass is another one. Now it's not one that I like to diffuse a lot of, but it's great for bug repellent and it's good for the outdoors. It helps to keep those bugs away. Another oil that you might want to use is cedarwood. Now cedarwood is great for the hair. It's, it's a good oil for the memory. It does have a woodsy scent, which is somewhat like mm, a gerbil. But I don't know if you like that, you know, mix it in, throw it in with some other scents and it'll help that. Did I mention peppermint? Peppermint is a must have. You have to have peppermint. Peppermint is so good for digestion. It's good for headaches. It just sort of helps with the clarity of your mind, sort of wakes you up. It's very stimulating. Another oil that is great to have is tea tree. Now tea tree oil is also good for the hair as well as for fungus, toe fungus, mold issues in your bathroom. You might want to use it in your cleaning. And so there's a lot of great benefits to tea tree essential oil. Another one is eucalyptus. Now this one is of course something that we're all familiar with because we've smelled it in different products like let's say vapor rub, things like that. So it is great for chest congestion, for flus and bugs in the house. And so this is another oil that you might want to have on hand. 
Now, rosemary essential oil is another one that I have used for many things, including hair. My hair is starting to thin out, and so now I have to think about using different essential oils, adding them into the shampoo when washing, or actually just mix it with a, a carrier oil such as jojoba and just massage it into the scalp leave it there for maybe uh, 20 minutes, 45 minutes, and then wash it out when you shampoo your hair. This is gonna help to bring back the luster and the shine, as well as stimulate the hair growth. Let's see, did I miss any? Well, another oil that we like is cinnamon. Cinnamon bark and cinnamon leaf, as well as cassia essential oil, are three very similar in fragrance, but do have different properties. These are very powerful oils. They're good for colds and flus. They're great to have. And you know what? They sort of remind me of candy. So you know what? Sometimes when I have that little bit of a uh, hankering for something sweet, put a little drop of cinnamon on my tongue and it just sort of takes away that desire to eat. Cinnamon has been used in a lot of studies and research and they have found that actually cinnamon powder is great for diabetes and helping to lower the blood sugar. Something you might want to take a look at if you have that issue. Well, let me think, is there anything else? I've mentioned so many oils. Did I go over my list of six to eight? I don't know. But anyway, I hope this helps. Please, if you are a hoarder of essentials, if you do get in touch with me, we, we need to talk, girl. <laughs> All right, great to talk to you guys and see you again. I look forward to hearing from you. Please leave a comment below if you haven't already. I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I do have one more place. Oh my goodness, let me show you, hold on. Anyway, down here, I have another basket of fools. Yes, I know this is ridiculous. Um, these are all my doTERRA oils and you know how it is. Good sale. You got to get them, right? So I have a ton of these and like I said, didn't sell them. So I have a bunch. If you guys are looking for anything, let me know. I have a ton of oils.